Special shout out to my members and patrons, Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlow, The Hellraiser, Harrington, I Am Beast, Jelly Beams, Kaleem Humi, Jim Bones, MDS84ZA, Balalka, and Killabunny264 for your amazing support. Members and patrons get shout outs on all my videos, get access to a private Discord channel, and access to my 7 SRI server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to 7 SRI Apocalypse Now mod. So, last episode, we faced the Day 14 Horde, we got utterly destroyed. And we're now finding that even tier 1 quests on insane difficulty times 2. Remember, we are level... Let me just quickly do that. We are level... 41. So we are leveling way, 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 way too fast on insane difficulty. But it's, it's keeping it challenging. It's keeping it fun. The only problem is it's keeping it very, very impossible because these zombies are mostly now feral. The tough zombies and the feral zombies are super fast. Okay, see, this is what I have to deal with all the whole time. Uh, if I place that over there, I might be able to melee him a bit before he wrecks me over here. Uh, that door I have to close just in case something gets in, and then... Hopefully he doesn't wake up from this. Just in case I need to get away. Escape route. Can I destroy this so I can see him better? Okay, in di okay it's a decaying radiated inferno car, but look at his HP still. So 474 HP, but he's a weak Inferno. There's usually two zombies inside of this, so I'd be careful right now. Upstairs, downstairs, nothing. Guys, this is so bloody stressful. The Horde Knight, for those of you who saw, we got, in, uh, we got utterly wrecked. But it's those, uh, especially those uh, the radiated bears, they are insane. Oh, there's a trash bag. That's why I can't place this. I'm gonna do that just in case something comes from that side, and then there might be a zombie inside of here. The fact that I'm using stone arrows to do this is actually kind of a waste. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a frame down behind me as I run. I do this. I do this. And I wait for it to come to me, and I do this. You have to play it super smart right now, guys, because there's just way too many tough zombies. Now there's zombies from down below. I mean, the first, the very first zombie we got in this place was a demo. The fact that you're getting demos as sleepers, oh, that's scary as hell. I wanna strip this place, but I'll do it on the way out. That's a screamer, but she's a sleeper screamer. So she shouldn't be a problem. Turn my lights off. I need to block the stairs before something comes upstairs. Okay, so let's just do this quickly. It doesn't even really seem like you can play some stuff on the stairs over here. I'm gonna do that just in case something comes from down below. Yeah, there's a basket in there we can loot. I think there's gonna be a zombie inside over here. Usually a toilet, especially if it's boarded up, actually has something inside. Now it has me really, really worried a bit. Okay, nothing. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, did I just see a particle effect of a radiator down there? As we are going to have to stealth so much more in this game now. Because of all the insane zombies, the tough zombies, the feral zombies. I need to go upstairs, but what's down here? Nothing. Okay, there's a weapons bag up there. We need to make sure we get ourselves the... Oh, I'm over here's my... Stash. You need to be careful because sometimes uh, the walls are fake like that. That's why I shot this earlier to make sure there's nothing behind there waiting. Okay, please, I need something with uh, wellness energy boost, 3%. There you go. Although I'm going to see a little bit wrong. Okay, this is for melee, right? For a few seconds of melee power. Hopefully this uh, place isn't over crawling.
Wait, what's BAM? I thought this was the one for stamina. Silly sounds for a minute. Oh, come on. Can we do that? Choo! That's a fake, weird, creepy sound. Okay, it's a shame we don't have any Molotovs right now. If I can get close enough, please be aware of. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. See if I can place a cobble shape over there. That will allow us to um, kill these zombies easier. And can I put any points into like stealth or sneaking or something? He didn't strike. Damn. See this one, sneak attacks deal 100% damage. Uh, or wait, 100%? An extra 100% damage. Yeah, I need this. If I can put one book over here, I'll be able to go and throw that. And, but we also need... Uh, scavenger, three more books here. We just need dyes now, and for that we need ink. So the moment we have more ink, we'll be able to go and do this, and we can be able to go and get ourselves two rewards. You can now choose two quest rewards and 30% more dukes. This one over here has three quest rewards. So it's definitely worth it. Guys, that's the candy I just ate. Silly sounds. Not a fan. I just have to remember not to drink, uh, not to eat the, the brown one. The shit colored one. It makes you fart and your farts actually call in zombies. It's surprising enough, guys. Uh, if, uh, if you eat the brown candy and your character farts, it actually does, it makes so much noise that zombies hear you and come for you. I just level up. No, something just wore out. Wore off. Now, was that all the zombies in there? That's a question. I need to bring a, a repair tool with me, guys. If I bring some wood and a... a, a, a there's a zombie downstairs. If I bring some wood and a repair tool, I'll be able to go and uh, pick these frames back up. Let's check down so you can see feet both left and right. So it seems like I'm safe over here. Are these... No, this is a security gate. Now I know what this block is called. I think I might actually be able to go. Yep, there you go. This isn't a clear quest, so you don't know if there's more zombies left or not. I think there's one more left in here. Nope. Okay. There is a pure eye that actually has a room like this, and then behind the loot there's a space, and that space, that's usually where you can find some zombies and stuff. So that's why I'm trying to be so careful right now. I want to make sure I don't make too much noise. And also, if there was a space behind the box over here, then we know, we, come on, we know we'll be able to get to safety. I'm hoping I get some shotgun shells soon, but although, we're going to have to start thinking of getting, like, better shotguns as well. Dies, dies, dies. No dies. I'm going to have to go clear out a clothing shop, but if just this weak POI... Oh, nice. If just this weak POI actually had, like, a demo in it as a, a sleeper, what are the bigger buildings going to have? Or should I go hand that in right now? But let's just go first see if we can't find ourselves a clothing store. I think these are mostly houses, so I should go and check over here. It's more likely to be on this open section over here. I'm going to drive to there, turn left, and then just go all the way up. If I can see a place that has it, although I need to probably see if I can't go and pick up all these pieces. I'm definitely going to need some of these resources later, so if I grab them now, we won't have an issue later. Is that zombie inside? They're meant to make it past my blocks. Questions, questions, questions. Just close the doors just in case. Yeah, I want to make sure we, we grab all the resources on the way out as well to make sure that if we need something, you have it. So hoard as much as possible. You never know what you're going to need. I think this big dude is downstairs. Sounds like he's downstairs at least. That's definitely the wyan. The wyan makes that kind of noise. Okay. I think I'm just quickly gonna cut away guys. I'm just gonna get the rest of the beds and stuff like this. I want to make sure we get all the resources in a place, and then, yeah, uh, you never know if you're going to need these things later. And then as soon as we can face this dude or escape, I'll get you guys back. Okay, so I took another beer just to get my wellness back. Guys, this effect is really, ooh, makes you nauseous just looking at it. 
But yeah, um, I killed the Wan dude because he was just a decaying version. It was way easier just to... I just quickly shot... Uh, well, hit him while he was there. It was... Uh, he actually caught on fire due to my burning shaft mod on this weapon. But yeah, I was able to just quickly set him alight and then take him down with a few power attacks. He only had like 200 HP or something, which was really nice. Yeah, I need more books and more notes and stuff. At the moment, really, we have enough notes. I need... Well, I need to uh, loot more of this if I can. Um, I need actually to just see if I can't find that clothing shop now. As soon as we can make a ton of ink, guys, we just need dyes. I know you can make your own dye as well, but then you have to have plants and water and, 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 and. So it's just easier if you just quickly go grab yourself. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen this PI. There's now a new one in the game that actually has like a wall and stuff as well. Okay, so yeah, let's keep our eyes open. We're looking for a clothing shop. And then also, technically, every time I see these... I don't know how many of these I've actually already looted, though. We have to try and get a few more schematics from them. But I think for now, our biggest uh, priority is just getting the clothing. If we can get ourselves a savage country. Working stuffs, postal office. <laughs> Eggs. Um, crack the book over there. This place of here is one big P.O.I. guys. All four of these P.O.I.s work together. That's why they sleep us in the middle of the road. Come on, there has to be some clothing shops over here. Yes, there you go, Savage Country. To my left. There's two, one over there, one over here. So I'm gonna go for both of them. Hopefully there aren't too many ferals and stuff inside because we really need to take our time and just go through everything. I dump everything, food, water, looks fine. Okay, wrong action. That would have been a death blow just now if I used the right one. Hello! See, we need to style through this place, grab all the clothes we can. We already have some uh, over here. So you can't just grab the cl uh, clothing, guys. You have to go and take it off. So W, do that. Scrap, scrap. And now we can scrap the clothes. So I I'm going to scrap the clothes anyways because I don't need them. Unless it's a running jacket. Oh, we have one. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to scrap all the clothing we come across. and then. But I first have to take the dyes off before we do it. I think what I'm going to do is loot as much as possible. And then just quickly cut away as I take all the dyes off, scrap them, scrap the clothes, and then cut back. The sleeper screamer on the roof right now. There's also a zombie behind the counter. The nice thing is this isn't the quest, so if I have to run away, we can run away. Let's scrap polymers. That sleeper up top might be able to see us. I should probably try and snipe her from here. But I think it's going to be better to just do the dude first down here. At least if something comes from the outside, because I hear footsteps on the outside. If they come from the outside right now, what they're going to have to do is break through the manne mannequins or squeeze past the mannequins. Crap, 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 crap. I need some Molotovs as soon as possible. You know, it's here, as long as, uh, as long as we are prepared, I'll probably see if I can't get myself some Molotovs soon. Because all the zombies we're coming across right now are feral. make sure I don't miss and then also yeah let them go run in a straight line so they can kill each other as this is just nuts the amount of, amount of ferals in the game I know it is insane difficulty but the amount of ferals we're facing right now is just wrong just damn tough screamer zombie so she's fast she's strong she hits basically like a uh, ooh lumberjack oh crap 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 run 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 stamina ooh that's bad I think the tough ones might even heal themselves, so we need to be careful. Let me just do this. They might be able to climb each other's uh, shoulders, but this way I can just at least get my uh, gain my bearings. Oh crap, ghost as well. Casper. Hello, Casper. Yeah, as they try and jump to get to me, they can actually do some serious damage. They can climb on each other's sol uh, shoulders over there. I couldn't now see if they were actually healing or not, the tough uh, screamer. I want to see the bigger YouTubers that play like insane difficulty vanilla. Do insane difficulty this. The amount of tough zombies, feral zombies, just overall no zombies. Nope, 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 zombies. <laughs> it's just, it's unimaginable. Can't afford to stick around too long if there's two zombies next to each other because they climb each other's uh, shoulders. Please bleed out. Please bleed out. Yes, he's out. Nice. See, the moment you stand still, the one zombie jumps on the other sh uh, shoulder. 
So you have to run or walk side to side like this. Just to make sure you get some stamina back so you can deal with them. Casper's gonna die. There you go. I love a miss. That miss, that was a bad one. The radiator over here as well, healing so fast is kind of a pain. Oh, how... Some of these zombies are clever enough to try and jump from down there. And as they jump, they swing the arms, so usually they end up hitting you. Okie dokie. I just need dies, please. Okay, so while I'm here, I can just quickly go. Guys, you, you press A to modify. You hold shift, click, W, shift, click. Uh, okay, wait, A, W. Click on this one, W, shift, W, shift, W, shift. That's how you use shortcut keys just to speed up this process. As you can see, we have a ton, quite a bit of clothing over here. Oh, that's just black uh, pants that doesn't have any dye on. Then you just go out and you go and scrap everything. Now, the nice thing is this mod has a massive scrap queue. Look at that. So I can go scrap all the dyes and everything behind each other and I can just keep on playing. We need 60 uh, paint per class note that we want to make. I need to get through this place too much before nighttime. If I can at least kill all the zombies before night time, I'll be able to loot the play- Oh no! Wandering Horde! I need to draw them all away from here, so I need to drive away now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to drive so slow so they actually follow me. But I need to make a U-turn and go all the way back. The fact that these Wandering Hordes are all feral like this is just insane. And now we just drive away. They should uh, leave me alone soon, and I can just turn around over here. There's wolves all over, ferals all over, uh, bosses all over, and then you come and you try and loot a place, and there's a wandering world. <laughs> the tough ones, especially, are really, really bad because they they're basically like radiators, uh, or rather, they they're like the the wyans uh, and the bikers and stuff. They hit hard, and they also run. Oh, there's a demo over there. Hello. We try and see if we can't get these guys to follow us over. I mean, they were already on the way away from us, but they might actually turn around. Crap. No, no, no. Almost, almost, almost. Oh, that bunny, I think, is a hostile bunny. It was coming straight at me just now. And you turn right over there. See, this vehicle is loud. Oh, come on. This dude is so slow. If we could just ensure that they keep going this direction. That is a hostile bunny, it's following us, look at that. And the hostile bunny, so those of you don't know, have a ton of HP, so you have to be so careful. They're not weak at all. So if we get too close to that bunny right now, we're gonna have a problem. The problem is these wandering hordes don't seem to despawn. I might just have to actually go and face these guys that are left. Oh, that almost hit me. I wonder if I shouldn't just drive far away and then come back and then hopefully they've despawned. That usually works with Scream Awards, so let me just drive away and I'll come back and do the clothing shop. It's almost 8pm, I want to get the zombies killed before 10. Crap. Okay, so for these ones... Ah, oh, there's a little feral after me. Grab, 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 grab. At least my running gun's maxed out. Yep, yep, yep. Ferals, ferals, ferals. Even the headshots to the face like that don't really work. Look at this. I'm doing headshot after headshot after headshot. It's like the face is also sponges. Now that... Ooh, where's that bunny? The demo is coming, so the bunny is supposed to be over here somewhere as well. Now I'm going back to that massive pure eye, so I need to be careful of this. It seems this thing does way more damage to the person. Because the moment I hit them with this thing, you hear a doof sound. If I hit them with a sword, you hear a clinging sound. Let's see. Waste of stamina. I need some coffee. I need coffee. See, if I hit them, I hit this dude with my sword, it makes a clinging sound. A 
Like, demo is gonna be a problem. Stamina, 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 stamina. The way I said it, it's almost like I want to uh, do an Eminem rap song. Come on, where's the bunny? Where's the bunny? It's amazing how scared you can be of a small little bunny. But the HP all, uh, is way higher than a normal bunny's HP. And yeah, the, the attack power is also in an another level. I think if I'm not mistaken, we left the bunny last time with that radiated um, hazmat to the left. Where do you take the bunny, dude? The bunny was with you last time. Come on. No, 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 no. I actually feel like they are getting the demo to explode on this dude. If I can get the cop and the demo next to him and make the demo explode next to them, just keep them in a circle by running back and forth and back and forth, that might help. So what you do with this dude is you just hit him in the chest and you just run. There's a ton of damage to the floors. Ooh, there's a tunnel system underneath. There's a ton of damage to the floors, unfortunately, but hey, we need to make sure that we can deal with these dudes. We still have to clear out all the zombies inside the place. The fact that a wandering horde can keep us this busy is just insane. Get it? Insane? Insane difficulty? <laughs> My arrow's back. Yeah, you explode in this hole as well. There's another cop and another dude over there. Are these guys feral? Yep, both of them are feral. Come on, give me a break. I don't have any coffee or anything that gives stamina right now, so this is a pain. And I thought I might be able to get him while he gets stuck over there, but he didn't get stuck. I need to make sure they don't hit us. That's a big thing right now. Just make sure they don't hit us. But even if I do just left click and wait for, you, wait for them to try and attack, step back and take a swing. You don't have to do power attacks because that just wastes your stamina. Come on, move. Oh, he's another tough one. But he was part of the Wandering Horde just now. See, as he swings at you, hit him and then just stuns him a little bit. You don't have to use power attacks because that's just going to waste all your stamina. Oh, if you miss, that happens and he rocks your world. The whole camera is going, whoops. Probably heal myself as well. And the nice thing is, unlike Darkest Falls, this heals you instantly. Okay, so we're getting XP at least. Uh, I think we have XP glasses too, right? I'm just looking out for that bunny right now. These dudes are kind of uh, easy against the bunny. Compared to the bunny. For some reason, he's not even trying to explode. Okay, that's nice. We don't have to worry about him exploding. Might be some more ferals in the area. And then where's my bike? I left my bike so far away, we're going to have to go and get it uh, later. Okay. So, where were we? We need to get more clothes over here. Did the screamer up there also fall? I hope so. I think most of the zombies inside this place, in the front at least, came for us just now. So it gives us a chance to just go and loot whatever we want to loot in here. And I'm hoping for a ton of uh, dyed clothing. This is just shoes, but do they also give you dyes? Yes. Awesome. The nice thing is, as long as there's no cops left, we can just stack up next to a wall. And use our crossbow to kill them. If there is a cop or two, we can just go and use our gun. Every time it wants to vomit, stun it with, uh, or just interrupt it with a shot from the gun. And then you should be safe. These are all single shelves, right? If you loot the one side, you loot both sides. Probably just go and heal myself. Oh, I have a first aid kit. 45. Just in case. I'm going to be so mad at myself if I didn't heal and then all of a sudden I get killed by this. There's a feral... Oh, that's a biker. Radiated biker. I keep forgetting that in this mod you can loot all of this stuff. Uh, I was about to say, on the roof or outside? Wait, 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 wait. So this is Arlene. 
Apparently, I was confusing Arlene, Marlene, and Darlene with each other. I thought I knew their names, but then in the chat, someone told me, no, 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 I got all their names wrong. Make sure that I'm not getting uh, flanked from behind. I just need to do left shots, head shots, that's all. There you go. Took some damage, but at least I didn't die. Okay, now you, I might have to fight outside because you're radiated. I don't want to draw more tough zombies over here. Oh yeah, they're the zombies that spawn at night time. They're not even from the Wandering Horde or whatever that we just had to kill. They're just random nighttime zombies. That's why there's a spider over there, but there wasn't a spider earlier. You know, you are from earlier. Be careful though, because I haven't seen a bunny in a while. Oh, my stamina. Can you tell me that Screamer is not a Screamer Screamer? I just heard a screamer just now, didn't I? I wonder if I shouldn't just uh, come back later. It's now nighttime, it's way more dangerous. There's stuff zombies walking all around. Nighttime zombies run. There's a screamer right there. Every time I think, okay, nice, I can now keep on going, all of a sudden there's more and more and more zombies. Feral hooker. There you go, to the face. See, because we don't have stamina right now, this is super dumb and dangerous. So I think, let's go back to the base, we're just gonna grab our vehicle and go. You can always come back later. We have loot tree spawned off. So it's not like we'll be able to loot the same stuff again. Imagine she was an actual screamer just now, now she's spawning zombies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Run away, run away, run away, run away. I want to mark on the map though, even if it's just like a waypoint marker. Nope, don't rock me please. Quick waypoint. I want to mark this as closed on the map so I know exactly where to go next time. But for now, this is just too dumb, too dangerous to stay over here. We're going to go back to the base. Ooh, only have 8% gas left. We go back to the base, we're going to put a few things away, and then I'll hopefully uh, do a few of these class quests. Well, not quests, so we have to just go... Oh, we have to go and hand in the quest as well, the fetch quest. But we basically just have to make some class papers right now, guys, and we just needed ink. So now that we have the ink, hopefully this will help us. Okay, please don't tell me there's any zombies over here because I need some fuel. This fuel over here looks really familiar. Uh, I think. This gazebo in the middle, I think there's something underneath, right? No, I thought there might be a bunker underneath. I know there is a fuel eye with a gazebo like that and then underneath there's some real danger. Nice. Okay, we have 9% gas left, but hopefully we don't need that right now. We have to be careful of nighttime zombies spawning over here as well. It's a shame there's no vehicle other than the bicycle that's quiet when you drive it. And you can drive around without you having to worry about, oh no, the zombies heard me. Let me just pick this up as well, just for safety reasons. If I have to run away opposite direction, you can just put down your bike and then voila. Okay, guys, look at my HP. Look at my everything right now. Whew, okay, guys, uh, remember, I can easily go and put this to warrior difficulty, but then the challenge is gone. And the whole point I'm doing this, uh, look, on the one hand, I'm checking out this mod. That's why I have 200% XP, loot bonus, and, and, and. But on the other hand, it's also for a challenge because I have tested this one in the past. I know more or less what to expect. So now I'm just putting it up a little bit more for some challenge. But as you can see, the challenge is kind of challenging. <laughs> okay, clothing, thank you. Even the boots actually had some dyes on, which is uh, good. And now we go and scrap the ink first. Hopefully we have enough right now to just go make like five or six books. We really seriously need those books that badly, because then we can start investing points. At the moment, there's so many things that I want to invest in, but I can't because our um, classes are locked by those books. Okay, we should have some dye, uh, like murky water. Where's the rest? Oh, nine of you. I was about to say, where's the rest? It's on me. We're going to need that. What do we need for the ink? Okay, that's all we need. Ink and... Oh, that's only four. That's fine. It's more than I thought I'll be able to make, but I really need way more paint. I might actually need some... Hello? Oh, with these, you can actually just use the dyes straight off. That's expen... Oh, that's actually cheap. 
you get uh, you get uh, 10 ink no 10 uh, paint per die so that's 40 instead of 60 that you need for ink so it's cheaper when we have a chem station an advanced chem station is even cheaper than that okay but where is the ink option oh it, did i just unlock coffee as well no i need to see if i can't unlock that coffee as soon as possible so we'll go for engineering should have some more of the, uh, yes, I can make another book. Okay. So now for ink, what do we need? Just more paint. So we need to go back to that clothing shop and get as much dye as possible. But as you guys saw, it's really tough. You're barely inside and then the ferals and the tough ones inside mess with you. As you're running around outside trying to get rid of them, uh, there's more from the outside coming to join. And at this stage, it's just there's so many zombies, you are really struggling just to move around. Especially if that's uh, the Wandering Horde comes by. I should actually have like a warning system. It's a shame you can't set your warning system. Like for example, it only blares if there's like a, um, a Wandering Horde coming up. Uh, for one or two zombies, nah. For a Screamer, it gives a certain sound. And for a Wandering Horde, it gives another sound. If you can actually have something like that in the game, that would be awesome. That way you don't have to worry about what is outside. Is it tough? Is it not? Can you ignore it? Technically, you should probably not ignore anything coming for your base. But yeah, some stuff you just don't have to go for. You can save some time and effort. But if it's a Screamer or a Wandering Horde, if there's a Wandering Horde, you can just be quiet until it passes. And if it's a Screamer, obviously you have to go kill it because if it hears you or senses you and it screams, you have a big problem. I keep that on me for some more of this. But I need to be careful. This gives you three energy boosts. So as soon as it's over 3%, we use it. You guys, I know I don't have to worry about it too much, but I didn't worry about it, and then all of a sudden I ran into problems, so I want to worry about it. Um, nope, nope. Sell that for 2.1. So, that goes under vehicles of here. See, we have this one, and we have this one. And we have some batteries and engines and stuff as well. Okay, and then weapon parts and weapon mods. This does what? Block damage and lowers degradation by 15. The overall block damage, um... Let's do, let's do this one. It's not a weapon, so that's fine. And then on, on our actual weapon, we can go put this. Now we have the sword and we have this one. But this one's technically better. I just need a better level of it. This level one is a little bit low for my taste. Okay, so we sell this, sell this, sell this. Shotgun ammo I'm going to put away for now. I should probably carry my shotgun around. But I mean, our shotgun's so crappy anyways, it's not worth it at the moment. We do have steel slugs, but that's going to degrade the gun super fast. And then these spikes, I need to go put it, uh, put down. The whole reason I made those spikes is to protect the trade over here. So if, if, if one or two of the weaker zombies come past, the spikes actually go and kill them for us. Okay, so do this, do this, sell this. I need to check if the trader has something for us. If I can buy some coffee or just unlock the recipe for that, that's going to help us. Uh, did it run out of, yeah, it ran out of fuel. Oh, it's a minute something per. So we do that, so we should have enough books when that's done. This makes the weird sounds. I wish I could actually make a small sign underneath it and just put it in the same container. Or just make a, make a container over here, like a small, a small, small, small trash bag or something. Put this in there, say sounds. This one does what? Arrow damage, okay. So orange is good. Green chocolate bar. Energy, stamina. So green and orange, yes. Pink and brown, no. No, 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 no. Okay, while we wait for that to craft, I should probably see if these are done. Yeah, I just need a proper nail gun and we'll be able to go and make ourselves a, a base out of concrete. And the concrete, guys, um, I don't know if this is still the same. Yeah, okay, this is what... Oh, that just scared the crap out of me. This is the, uh, the, uh, the kind of um, HP we can see on the blocks of ours if we uh, use concrete. 6.5. So, their walls, 1.2, our walls, 3.2. And then this concrete is the same as ours, 6.5. That's what we want in our bases. I have to go hand this in and hopefully she has some stuff for us. This has to finish fast. I need resources. I can actually make like a tunnel on top that drops down into a van and then close off her van. So, take away that door, take away the walkway, make a ladder on the inside and I just drop down on her. Or drop her into the floor and make a tunnel underneath. That way when the zombies come past here, they don't wreck her. Or destroy her because she's in the way. If you got the dukes, I'll make the time. Amazing! I hope okay, you like so, your reward. Mm, okay, we can get this one. 
Work truck. Ah, uh, nah. What can I get? What can I get? Burning shaft. Melee item can double as a light source and set zombies ablaze. See, if this one's better level, I actually want to put it on this one as well. I'll keep it for later then. Ooh, double rewards. Wait, I haven't gotten double rewards yet, so why can I do double rewards? I'm so confused. I can't remember where I was in the game. Okay, we'll take this one then just in case. Any jobs? Technically, I should go for the buried supplies, but since in this mod, you can't do the one-by-one -one block trick, you wouldn't be able to tell where it is, so you have to dig and dig and dig. That circle's gonna shrink and shrink and shrink. I've got a bit of a problem. And then you have a problem. Oh, I would kiss you, but, um, you know, apocalypse hygiene and all. Uh, that's, that's, that doesn't have to stop you. Okay, there's a zombie right outside. Need to be as quiet as possible in here. Nine more ammo. I could buy the nine more ammo because we need it for our pistol. As soon as I'm done over here, the zombie's gonna attack me. Let's see. Advanced painkillers, duration. Nope. I need stuff that's gonna help me with my fatigue, but that's the only thing I really worry about right now. Let's see, let's see. Food. Oh, yes. Energy drink. 8% energy boost. Oh, yeah. Someone actually said that the, uh, the energy drinks, are like, uh, like liquid uh, fruit and stuff like this, is really, really good for your uh, fatigue. Although, 701. That's super expensive, but super worth it. And mods. A zombie can't know I'm inside of here, can it? I'm not making enough noise for it to know I'm here. Oh, I need to see. Can I make uh, Molotovs? I don't know if, this is, if it's the same recipe as in Darkest Falls. In Darkest Falls, it's not even fuel anymore. It's just... Um, what's that one drink? Grain alcohol. Okay, what can I get over here? Please, 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 please. I need some stuff. If I can get myself the shotgun receiver, I can make a really good shotgun. Oh, I need a wrench. Yeah, that's, uh, that's right. I need a... Nail gun or something good. I think mine's a scrap claw hammer. If I could just make myself a normal claw hammer, that'll also help. I just knew you'd find something you'd like. See, she's out here. I'm trying to not fight zombies and I realize, unless I really, really have to. So if I can help it, I want to make as less noise as possible, or little noise as possible when going in and out of uh, your eyes. These doors being made out of iron, though, doesn't really help. Okay. We should be safe now. See, as soon as I go and put spikes downstairs, we won't have to worry about that. Do that. Okay, now we need to make the books. We need paper and blue notes. Okay, so let me just see which one we need again. We need the scavenger class. Now I wonder, I can already get double rewards, right? You can now choose two rewards. You can now choose two rewards. Oh, okay, so this one's all... Oh, that scared the crap out of me. This was already what we need. This one over here is three rewards. That's maxed out. So we don't have to go for this one then. This one's just choose two rewards, this is choose two rewards, but it's 10% more dukes. So there's no real reason to go for this one right now. Which means I can either go for Lucky Looter, or let's see what else we can go for. Miner, I definitely want to get some more damage done with the blocks, perhaps even uh, the treasures. That is for level 2. So I can make one Miner book. Uh, Miner book. Okay, and then what else is there? Let's see, that was Miner. Farmer, I wanted to get Master Chef over here for the coffee. And that's also under number two. We'll make a Farmer book. You have to be really careful with how you spend these because you might need something later. Charismatic Nature, that's for friends and stuff on the server. We don't really need that right now. Healing Factor, I might actually need a next Healing Factor. That's under three. It seems to unlock something sometimes, it's number two. And to unlock the next one is always level three. And then a hidden strike, this one's level 2, so, I, no, level 3. I need to make two hunter books. I want to be able to sneak damage a little bit better, especially since these zombies are getting so tough. So that's a hunter. Then survivalist. 
Focal is level 3. So I need two books of this, but I don't think we have enough. Yeah. Okay, so that was... Survivalist, right? I uh, just want to make sure I did it right. Yeah, Survivalist. We could also go for this one over here, but I already have the, uh, the large uh, storages because we've got the schematic for it. So there's nothing over here that I really, really... Oh, wait. Unlocks Nail Gun. That's Engineer 4. I'll go for Engineer first. I need the nail gun. If I can make myself a nail gun, that's going to help us so much with upgrades and stuff. Although, all I really need to do right now is to go and make a claw hammer. A normal claw hammer. And I think that's going to help us. Because a scrap claw hammer can't upgrade to concrete, but this might be able to as a normal tool. So we need forged iron, leather, and duct tape. Uh, leather. Forged iron. No, that's steel. Forged iron and wood. Oh, hammer, what do I need? Oh, wait, I did the wrong way around. Drop one there, grab the... <laughs> I do that a lot, actually, accidentally. Okay, so now we just put these here and read them, and we can finally invest some skill points. I wanted to actually save points so we can get general perks level 16. But guys, I got general perks level 12 and 13 or whatever in my last series very late game, so I'm already ahead of the curve. So now we should just go and keep these, uh, or just invest in these instead of wasting the points on this one over here. General perks, there's nothing really that takes number 14. Modifiers, this takes number... Yeah, that's not, this takes number 14. What can I make with this? Advanced magazine extender, advanced shotgun tube extender, so there's more shots from a shotgun. Um, advanced poly, poly, polymer string mods, that's for the bow. Advanced arrow rest mod, bow. Metal spikes mod, crippler mod, drum magazine, silencer mod. It's going to be worth it. It's just going to be expensive to make all these things, but it's worth it. So I'll put one point in there then. So I can go for modifiers crafting. Wait, did I just... What did I just do? Did I look at the right stuff just now? Oh, it is this one. Oh, I was for a moment there, I thought I was on the wrong... I was like, oh no, wasted points. Okay, so for the survivalist. Wait, let me just read the rest of the books quickly. Okay, so now we go survivalist. Oh no, I went engineer. That's why I can't go for that right now. So this one over here, that's going to give us the nail gun. Uh, then we go for hidden strike. I want to go for master chef. And the next time I have to invest in something else. Now, can I make coffee yet or not? Coffee seeds locked. We can make coffee. Yay. This coffee is going to give us energy and it's going to give us uh, water and stuff as well. Yes, finally, finally, finally. Now I can actually not worry about my stamina for a while. I'll drink no other drinks as like a, a cool, uh, the good thing. Uh, I'll make 30 for now. Keep some of the water at least. Oh, I didn't realize I have 13 on me. I'm going to wait until my fatigue is like 8, eight and then I can drink this one over here. That's going to help uh, tremendously as well. Okay, guys, I'm just going to put all of this stuff away now. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff on us that we don't really need right now. Resources. Miscellaneous. So I'm just going to put all this stuff away, and then I'm going to prepare for the next episode. Uh, we're going to see if this claw hammer actually works or not. It should. If you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Apocalypse Now Insanity. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.